I mentioned earlier that our plans are full of a number of different views. They're also full of a number of different drawing types. So each type of drawing is going to tell us something different about a different phase of building. This could be a site plan that's going to talk about how we need to grade that site before we can build on it. Or, or it could be the pitch or the slope of the site. A foundation is going to talk to us about that aspect or phase of the building. The floor plan, a floor framing plan, could be a type of a view. That's going to tell us about how to build our floors. We need information about how to build our walls or how to build our roofs. All of these will end up as different drawing types. We're looking here at a site plan, and a site plan is going to talk to us about the boundaries of our lot that we're building on. It's going to talk to us about adjacent lots. It might show us, as I mentioned before, ele or slopes or elevations, rises in height on this particular lot. It's going to talk to us about sidewalks, about roads, about setbacks, how far we need to be back from the boundaries when we build so that we're legally placing that building and not too close to our neighbors. It could show us on a larger view where that site is relative to other features that are nearby, such as highways. It might show us a north arrow to give us orientation. A foundation plan is a type of a plan that is specifically about the base of a building. This is the start of our structure. It has to be very structural and built in a specific way to carry all the weight of all the materials that are going to be placed on top of it. A floor framing plan is going to give us ideas about how to frame out a floor on a structure. And this could be the first floor, or it could be the second floor, or the third floor. It's going to show us the room extents, and it's also going to give us information about the structural members that are going to carry the weight of this floor. Here we see a floor plan, and don't confuse a floor plan with a floor framing plan. A floor plan is really plan view and section view combined. If you can imagine you take a building and we talked about sawing it vertically to make a section, in this case we're looking at it from above and we're sawing through the walls. So we're looking into the building without the roof on it. We're seeing where the rooms are. We're seeing where the walls are placed. We're seeing dimensions of all of these things where doors and windows are placed. In this building we see staircases. Even these uh, rooms are labeled. So if we look at a close up here, we're going to see all of these details. You're seeing here columns. We're seeing some cabinetry. We're seeing some plumbing fixtures, doors. We're seeing a toilet and a sink. We see a staircase and all of these dimensions that are referencing all of these dimensions within this space. Here is an elevation view, and this is really the only way to show these exterior details of this building. We're seeing the roof line is showing us dimensions for heights of all of these items, and we're also seeing trim details. What is this building going to look like from the outside? What are the materials that are going to clad this building? Where are the windows and doors placed? Right? What are the roof materials? What are the siding materials? So elevations are full of details, and this is the finished uh, representation of what this building should look like in the end. Our roof framing plan is going to talk to us about how to make the structure of this roof. It's going to give us very important information about the shape and geometry of the roof so that when we build it, it comes together properly and it carries the pitch of the roof away so that when water hits this roof it will shed properly, it will look properly like the elevation here and we can do it from this plan view. Construction details as I mentioned before when we were talking about notes are very specific close-ups often in section. These would be section details a cut through of a specific part of a building referenced from say a foundation plan. Here we have a specific reference of this detail and we're looking, it's talking to us about specific things that would not be seen any other way than if we cut through here and looked inside of it. And a lot of notes 
some material symbols, lines, and even some dimensions. Look here, here's a close-up. So we're looking at some specific reinforcement that's added, a, an anchor bolt that's going to hold down a, a plate. Here's my symbol of a board cut on the end and all of these notes talking to us about each layer and each part of this detail. Let's do a print reading review. Construction prints are a set of instructions. We need to build a structure and they're written in the language of construction. There's nothing quite like a set of prints and how they speak to us. And we need to learn the specific language so that they communicate properly to us. There are three basic views of prints. That's going to be plan view, elevation view, and section view. And each one is going to speak to us about a different aspect of building. There are four basic elements of prints. That's going to be lines, dimensions, notes, and symbols. And these all come together to make those plans communicate accurately to us. There are different specific drawing types. It could be a site plan, framing plan, floor plan, exterior elevations, or even construction details. So all of these are going to give us different information about different phases of the building. This is a list of terms used in this presentation. And as always, I like to stress this idea of learning the language of building and using it on the job site, especially when we're talking about something as super technical as print reading. I hope you've learned something about print reading. Keep in mind, this is a very deep topic and we're only skimming the surface. Take this information in, study your symbols, understand your notes, your lines, and your dimensions. Start looking at a set of plans like the ones that we provided here and start to understand and wade through this sea of information. I'll see you in the next video. This video is a production of Trade Skills U, all rights reserved. If you provide instruction in the construction trades and have a need for videos like these, please contact us at tradeskillsu.com.